everybody and welcome back to Feasts from the Middle East. In today's video I'll be showing you how to make this really simple but delicious lasagna recipe. It is an absolute classic and goes down a storm with the whole house. So for this recipe you will need 500 grams of minced meat, 3 chopped onions, a third of a cup of corn oil for the meat sauce and another third cup of corn oil for the bechamel sauce one and a half teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, a quarter to a half teaspoon of chili powder, and one teaspoon of hararat. Now this is a Libyan spice that we use in almost all of our recipes. It tastes insane, and I'll pop a link in the description below to where I buy mine from. You'll also need 300 milliliters of tomato passata, five to six heaped tablespoons of plain flour, three pints of milk, and pre-cooked lasagna sheets. 200 grams of mozzarella and grated cheese. First up, we're going to make the bolognese sauce. What you want to do is add your minced meat to a saucepan and bring up the heat until the meat starts to sweat. You want to keep this going until all the extra juices drain out of the minced meat and evaporate from the saucepan. Now this step is really important, so you don't want to skip it. Once all of the juices have evaporated, you want to add your onions and your corn oil to the saucepan and give it a good stir. Once the onions have started to wilt, add in your spices, tomato passata and fill the saucepan over halfway with boiling water. Bring the heat up until you have a bubbling sauce and then lower the heat to a simmer and leave the sauce to cook for an hour or so. Turning to the bechamel sauce, you want to add your corn oil to a new saucepan on a medium high heat. Once the oil gets hot, you want to add in your plain flour and make sure you start stirring this straight away. You want to keep going until the mixture gets to a dark golden brown colour. Here, you want to add in your milk but be careful as it will create a large amount of steam. Don't be put off by this, but make sure you start stirring really well straight away, as otherwise you could end up with a clumpy bechamel sauce. You'll want to keep stirring for about 10 minutes or so until the sauce ends with a much thicker consistency. Feel free to sprinkle in some cheddar cheese here to add some more flavour and once the sauce gets to about this consist consistency you will know it's ready. If it gets too thick just add some more milk and stir it in and if the mixture just won't get thick raise the heat slightly and avoid stirring for a minute or so and you should start seeing the sauce thicken up. Right so now we want to assemble the lasagna. First, you want to take some of that excess oil from the top of the meat sauce and brush over the bottom of your roasting tray. Next, you want to add a layer of your pre-cooked lasagna sheets, being careful to ensure there are no exposed areas. Next, add about half of your minced meat sauce over the top of the lasagna sheets. And to that, you want to pour on a generous layer of bechamel over the meat sauce. I sprinkled some mozzarella cheese on top of my bechamel sauce, but that's completely optional. Next, you want to add a layer of lasagna sheets and repeat the same steps again. So you want to add the other half of your minced meat sauce, another generous layer of bechamel, but this time you want to make sure you leave enough sauce to cover the top of your lasagna. Again, I added some mozzarella cheese and then one final layer of lasagna sheets. Use what's left of your bechamel sauce to cover the rest of the lasagna like so and then sprinkle on top a generous layer of grated cheese and mozzarella. Pop 
Pop that into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown and crispy on top. And there you have it, a really simple and delicious lasagna recipe all the family can enjoy. If you have any video suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.